Hello everyone, I wanted to show a work in progress that I recently made a milestone on. And so basically it is a Nintendo DS hack so that you can use external 3D printed game controller pieces to control what happens on the Nintendo itself. So I'll show you how it works, or what happens when it works first, and then I'll explain a little bit about how it works. It's still a work in progress, so it's not complete yet. Alright, so first thing is to turn on the Nintendo. Then, um, now we can just use the controllers to control it. So I'm going to start up Pokemon White on here. Alright, so you can see that my character is on the screen here and we're currently running through this little route. A purloin appeared. <laughs> We'll use flame burst. <laughs> All right, faint it. Yes. <laughs> here are all of the electronics to make it work. So over here, this is just an Arduino microcontroller, and it's running a program to look at whatever buttons are pressed from the external 3D printed controllers here. So inside of these controllers are little tactile buttons that look like this. And basically whenever one of these is pressed, then it uh, detects it and then it changes the corresponding pin from high to low so that way it can uh, use this level shifter to shift out to the corresponding buttons, which are all brought out from the Nintendo DS here, and then it's like it's electronically pressing the button instead of you mechanically pressing it. The LEDs are connected just to show whenever you're pressing a button. So, for example, here I'm moving side to side, and the LEDs will turn off. And um, these resistors right here are just for all of the buttons on the game controllers. So the game controllers itself are actually uh, downloaded from Thingiverse uh, from Caleb Crafts, uh, the controller project. So basically he designed these so that you can make accessible game controllers um, for people who need it. So these are all his designs, and I only had to make a few modifications after they were printed, like just filing or cutting some things off. And this is the result, so they're quite clicky, because of course the buttons are clicky. And same with these ones. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. And it's actually a lot more comfortable to play the Nintendo using these controllers that are really close instead of wrapping your hands around the wideness of the DS. So that's kind of interesting. So there was one interesting slash funny thing that happened right when I was um, testing to see if this would actually work. I'd just like to show you guys it. Alright, here it is. So basically, I was looking around for Pokemon, and this one comes up, and its name is Audino, which, if you move the U and add an R, it's like Arduino, so that was pretty funny. <laughs> I caught a wild Arduino with an Arduino. So, as I mentioned before, this is a work in progress hack, and what I want to do next is, um, first of all, document this really well so that other people 
can replicate it for their own projects. Personally, I found it, a few parts of it a little challenging, so that will be good to do so that other people can be able to make this as well. I also want to make um, a few different interfaces for this, like while I'm at it, um, make an interface using speech recognition, like just a few basic commands, and also um, an interface on an iPad, so that way you could move the controls wherever you would like and um, position them however and whatever. And then finally is to create some macros so that, um, say you see a Pokemon and you want to be able to catch it now but you don't want to press all of the buttons for whatever reason, then um, have a macro to press um, different buttons in a certain sequence. So after that then I'll be able to um, finish this off. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how well the speech recognition playing will be because that's something that I've always wanted to do is just see the commands and have the character do what I'm telling it to do instead of having to use my hands to press the buttons. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed this progress update and Thanks for watching! <laughs>